I decided to open up my expensive new laptop to see what's inside. Because you know, I like damaging my hardware. That's what she said. So let's shut down the patient's brain and open up their body. You know, just like surgeons do. As you may have read from the title, this is the Legion 5 Pro. I've kind of already seen what it looks like on the inside based on pictures online, but I want to see it for myself. I see 10 easy to access screws on the back. Six of them on the sides, they all seem to be the same length, so no need to store them in a special way, they can be interchanged. And then there are four smaller ones here on the bottom, same size as each other. I thought this metal back panel would be easy to slide off, but that's not the case. It's pretty tightly fit onto the body. You are supposed to use a thin prying tool to open up the sides. I don't like that approach. I mean, if you're gonna make the screws so easy to access, might as well make the back panel easier to remove too. I tried to pry it open with my screwdriver bit, but metal on metal is not a good idea as it leaves scratches. You're supposed to use a plastic prying tool of some sort so that it doesn't scratch the metal back panel. I didn't exactly have a tool with me like that, so I tried to use some old SIM cards. Oh man, Tata Docomo, do you remember that carrier? Yep, we had to manually cut our SIM cards back in the day. That's how old I am. So initially the SIM card turned out to be a bit too thick to get inside the edges. I tried a lot but could not get it in there. That's what she said. I even tried using my ninja techniques to cut the SIM card in half so that it's a little bit thinner, but nope, no luck. And then I found an ancient tool that my ancestors used. Yeah, it's just a bolt tightener that you use for like blenders. I decided to start with the corners instead of the edges and with this tool it was way easier. Using proper tools and equipment makes your life really easy. Who knew? Anyways, now that the back panel is off, we finally get a look at the internals. The first things I noticed were those thick boy pipes and that long boy battery. It's an 80 watt hour battery that's held together by quite a lot of screws. We'll take a closer look in a minute. I'll add some foam thingies under the laptop so it doesn't move around too much. Let's take a look at the storage situation real quick. I think this is the NVMe SSD with the network card over here. As you can see I went with a 1TB unit which is plenty of storage for me. And my model has the MediaTek MT7921 Wi-Fi 6 card. It's probably a smart choice to replace it with an Intel card, but so far I'm satisfied with the performance. Those are some pretty thick heat pipes, and there's a small dedicated one extra for the GPU. Bruh, it has only been about a month since I've been using this laptop and there's already dust on the fans. I tried to remove these black plates because I wanted to look at the CPU and GPU directly, but these screws have a weird spring underneath them. They keep the screws spinning in the same place without it coming out. I couldn't get these off. If you know how to get those weird screws out, let me know in the comments. And in the meanwhile, let's check out other things. I noticed a slot similar to the SSD on the other side, so I decided to check it out. I think it's a secondary slot for an additional SSD. Yep, that's what it is. And it also has what looks like a CMOS battery. Damn it, I really wanted to see the CPU and the GPU. Thanks to these weird springy screws, I can't. Let's look at the RAM sticks. They are underneath this metallic cover that doesn't have any screws. I don't like that design. It's a little annoying to take it off and put it back. Uh, one screw would have been nice, I guess. There they are, the DDR4 dual channel memory sticks. They are 16 GB out of the box and expandable up to 64 GB. I'm gonna upgrade them at some point, but for now I'm good. Or maybe I'll get up to 32 GB, let's see. And if you haven't seen a DDR4 sodium stick right next to a DDR3 one, here it is. The pins are a little bit different. Let's take a closer look at this long boy battery now. I have to say replacing the batteries has gotten quite a bit more procedural nowadays. Back in the day the laptop's battery was a separate compartment of its own without requiring any screws. There are like 7 screws and one of them is underneath the SSD, so you have to remove the SSD first to unscrew it. And this connector has to be the jankiest one in this entire premium laptop. The easiest way to disconnect it is to push it down with your thumb away from you. And please don't use a sharp metal tool nearby, like me. I'm an idiot, but you shouldn't be. You know how it is. Do as I say, but not as I do. I mean, how is it that my 9-year-old Sony laptop has a better battery system than this one? Are we really going forwards in technology innovation? Think about it. These cables look really fragile, so after a while, maybe after a year or so, if you're trying to disconnect the battery, you can easily break them. 
I doubt if this battery would last as long as my older laptop did. Given how much heat this laptop generates, I would be skeptical. Looks like they've combined two flat battery cells into one long boy. Anyways, I think we've explored the basics. Let's just put it back together. Overall, the experience was pretty straightforward. Even for a noob like me, it was about 8 out of 10. I didn't like how difficult the back panel was to remove. I wish there was some easy way of like flicking a switch and opening it after you have unscrewed it. Given that this is a performance oriented laptop, users would be upgrading it fairly frequently. So I feel that there should be an easy way to access the internals. The battery connection could also be a bit better since that's one of the things that any user would have to replace at a certain time if they are using it long term. Having to undo like 50 different screws just to get the battery out is not really ideal. I wish it was a separate compartment outside. Laptop PCs are not like smartphones. The internal components should be easy to access and easy to upgrade if the user wishes to do so. You know, right to repair and all that. Or more like right to upgrade easily. I mean, you shouldn't have to reserve 25 minutes of your day just to replace a battery, right? It should be an easy process. I know there are a lot of other manufacturers designing the devices in the same way, but just because a lot of people are doing it, just because it's the new trend, doesn't mean it makes sense. If you want to develop your own personality, stop following trends. Philosophy of life. Oh, and one more thing. If you have unplugged the storage or the RAM, you know, where the operating system boots from, it's a good practice to turn on the PC and see if everything is working before you screw everything back. I remembered that when there were only 4 screws left, and yep, I realized I made a mistake. Looks like I didn't plug in the NVMe SSD correctly, that's why it's not recognizing a boot drive. If you have unplugged your RAM or if your RAM is not seated properly, then you won't get anything on the display. So I had to open it all the way back up again and reseat the SSD. And this time I turned it on even before putting the back panel just to see if it's fine, and yep, it booted up. I should have done this to begin with, but in case you forgot, I am an idiot, so I had to do it twice. And that's how you tear down your Legion 5 Pro. Just get a plastic pry tool and you will be good to go. When you are closing the back panel, watch out for the corners, they can bite down pretty hard. As usual, leave any questions you have in the comments down below and come hang out on Discord, link is in the description. Honestly, I am quite happy with this device so far, I have been using it every day as my main workstation. The fans are a bit louder than I would like, even in quiet mode, but for the most part it gets the job done, and ultimately that's what matters. I mean, what good is a laptop if it looks pretty but doesn't work well at all? Okay then, peace.